Fort DeVoe is one of my favorite maps in Battlefield 1, due mainly to the story behind its bitterly contested location in World War I. French Major Sylvain Eugene Renal and around 150 men desperately resisted a determined German attack for six days, beginning on June 1, 1916. For more on the history of Fort DeVoe, check out the video on the screen or in the description below. Over 300,000 French and German soldiers died in the battle for Verdun, many of them on the fields surrounding Fort de Vaux or within its depths. I had long been curious to see how the real Fort de Vaux stacks up to its video game representation, so when I had the chance to visit, I made a point to examine Fort de Vaux from a Battlefield 1 perspective. Unfortunately, given the amount of damage the fort sustained during World War I, much of it was inaccessible or off-limits. The first thing that jumps out about the fort's representation to me is the overall size of the fort. Fort DeVoe in real life is significantly smaller than what is portrayed in Battlefield 1. The rooms are smaller and the hallways are significantly more cramped and narrow. You'll notice a lot of similarities, however, particularly in the barracks, which dice duplicated pretty much true to life, in appearance and location within the fort. Aside from the barracks, turret location, and the magazine depot, the overall fort layout in Battlefield 1 differs significantly from its real-life counterpart. This is likely for gameplay reasons, because an accurate reproduction of Fort DeVoe probably wouldn't result in a fun or balanced experience, as the Germans found out during World War I. Another aspect to examine is the overall appearance of Fort DeVoe. From the outside, Fort DeVoe in Battlefield 1 seems to mirror the fort during the initial attempts to capture it by the Germans. Today, Fort DeVoe bears the scars of even further destruction. The wall protecting the barracks and much of the defensive ditch have been obliterated by artillery. After recapturing the fort, the French reinforced the barracks entrances with masonry baffles and machine guns. Inside, Fort DeVoe in Battlefield 1 more closely resembles World War II fortifications like the Maginot Line. In real life, the structure looks decidedly more medieval. When the French defenders ran out of water during the initial German attacks, they licked condensation from the walls. Looking at a similar structure like Fort Douaumont, it showcases the level of moisture in the underground fortress. The defenders of Fort DeVoe lived like cave dwellers, cold, wet, and seeing little sunlight during the intense fighting. Fort DeVoe was equipped with a 75mm gun turret on the northern side of the fort. That turret was destroyed early in the fighting, but it is present on the Battlefield 1 map. Also present are the observation posts on the left and right sides of the fort, though they're inaccessible in-game. The developers also modeled the bathrooms pretty well after their real-world location, even down to the toilet designs. Now, I didn't see the infamous isolation room, but the hospital there appeared well-stocked. The ditches outside Fort DeVoe now form a walking path around the fort, but they do show how tall the walls were during the fighting and that they're accurate in Battlefield 1. However, the counter-escarp bunkers that guarded these ditches aren't present in Battlefield 1. The northeastern bunker is where the Germans actually entered Fort DeVoe, fighting hand-to-hand -hand and with flamethrowers. Scars of the fighting inside the fort remain to this day, although some of the damage has been repaired. The French defenders also constructed barricades in the hallways once the Germans began to enter the fort. One of these hallways to the counter escarp bunker was damaged by heavy artillery, and there appears to be a few nods to that in Battlefield 1. Overall, DICE did a great job recreating Fort DeVoe in Battlefield 1, albeit with a few modifications for gameplay. Today, Fort DeVoe has begun to return to nature, but the scars of over 100 years ago still remain visible. From the appearance of the land around Verdun, one would assume the land has begun to heal. However, the trees and grass are all new growth, and simply mask the damage done to the landscape. Everywhere you look, there's evidence of artillery impacts, and trench lines are still hidden visible in the forest, if you look close enough. If you're planning a trip to Verdun, I'd highly recommend visiting Fort de Vaux. If you'd like to see more of these underground fortifications, stop by Fort du Amont, which has much more to explore. Nope. For a future video, I'll take a look at Battlefield 1's Verdun Heights map and look at its real-world locations. But what are your thoughts on the real-life Fort de Vaux? Do you have any questions? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like.
Share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.